Okay, Acer. Acer, what is it? Let's have a look what it is. Hard drive replace. Uh, it is an Acer Aspira E15. Um, I know I've seen this one before. It belonged to someone where I work. It's had a bit of bashing. I think the hard drive's gone. We're just going to replace it. Or I'm just going to show you how. I think it's a bit of a faulty machine. It's been tampered with, dropped, and everything. So we're going to take it apart. I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you look on the back, I won't go through all this, but you've got quite a few. All these screws have got to come out. Okay, every single one. Uh, and then I'll bring you back in a sec. I'll just start off. There's this, this like over every corner. I think there's one missing over here somewhere, so I'm not bothered with that. CD ROM drive here. If you undo that. Okay, all these screws are the same size, so don't worry about that. Pop the drive out. I'll carry on with these. Oh, by the way, yeah, of course, the battery is just a, a push a push button lock. So you just put your screwdriver in there, push it back, like so. Push the battery back, and that's it. Okay, I'll carry on with the screws. Get back to you in a sec. Okay, once all the screws are out, double double check because you've got to make sure otherwise you'll break the casing. Yeah, we should be okay, should be good to go. Flip it over. Okay, pull the screen back, and now we should be able to get to this. This just should just come, it has had some stick before, so we're expecting a bit of damage. There you go. And it should come up like that. There's, a, there's the protection cap. And then underneath here, I've got to try and lower you down for this. There's three ribbons. Okay, I'm going to put you on zoomy doom. Three ribbons. So you've got one here. One well, there you got to take off. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me see if I can put you on the floor. Two seconds. So in theory, we have four ribbons. We've got one here, one here, which will take off when you want to take the hard drive out. One at the back, which is, I think, is, is I think it's a keyboard light, and then we've got the main keyboard one there. Now this one here, you just pop up. See that? And that just pops out. That just pops up like that. The one at the back. And if you can see him, let me just turn you around and focus that in. This one's exactly the same. Pop up, and that comes out. This one here has two slides, one each side, one there. Okay. And one here, two slides. You slide them back. Oh, it's popped off anyway. That's all right, it'll pop back on. I, th I told you it's had some stick this has. So. Yeah, all right. Okay, and then the keyboard will come off, all right? I'm not bothered if this gets broken because it's had so much stick. It's not in very good condition, and I don't think she works properly. It's, um, I'll bring you up. It's covered in muck and sand for some reason. Shouldn't be you doing that. If you do anything electronical, by the way, I'm not really too bothered about this machine, even though it is an i7, beautiful bit of kit, but it's, it's just been battered. Um, always wear a wrist strap, so you got an earth strap on your wrist, and then connect it to an earth. Okay, that's uh... so for the hard drive. That's the job in hand. Let's bring you back. Here we go. So this is another one. So pop up. See, that just pops up. Slidey made under these two screws here. I say it's quite a simple job. I mean, yeah, you've got to do all the screws and the cases and whatnot, but pretty straightforward. Okay, I'm not going to replace it. I don't think I'm going to bother this machine. It's, it is, it hasn't fired up properly. And we've tried everything. We've tried memory. We've tried everything. We've even have replaced the hard drive before. So on this one, you've got one screw that side. Focus that in. You've got one this side. Okay, they come undone. <clears throat> Change the hard drive. Put it back as it was. Back in the cradle. Let's see if 
fits nicely in there. Two seconds. Oh. Belt would fit. Okay. Come on. Where are you? Maybe the wrong end. I'm not going to stop because of, this is what happens. You just get a little bit of a... There we go. That end in first. Okay. And sliding forward. That engages back into the slots. So the SATA drives. And then you put him back like so. Lift this up. Slide him back in. Like that. Up to the line. You can see you can see the little line. Pull that back. Let's zoom in a bit more. There we go. So back in as far as he goes. Pop it over and push it down. And there you go. That's really it, changing the hard drive. Uh, I'll have a quick look at this now. This is, I don't know if it's broken. I told you someone else has been in it. So this is a slide rather than, it doesn't flip up. It sort of it slides backwards and forwards and then pinches the, the ribbon. I'll have a quick look at that. Now, I don't know if you can see this properly, but on this one here, there's a little clip just... I can't, I can't do this really. There's a little tiny clip just underneath there. And this one has lost it. So I'll try and put it back in. It's, I've sort of got it in temporary. You can see it. It holds it there. And then when you push it in forward, it clips. When you've got the ribbon, ribbon back in, it should be tight. See, it's not. That's no. Anyway, so there we go. How to change your hard drive. If you want to put all these back together again, we'll bring you out. Okay, so it's the reverse of what you did. Let's bring it down, let's touch. And again. I'll try and get the big ribbon back in. I don't think, I'm not going to hold much hope for it. You slide it back. So that line, that line goes in till it reaches the top. Oh, it's there. Oh. And then we push them, and then you lock it into position. Oh, we could try that. It seems to have stuck. And then the one at the back here. If you can see that one. Let me just turn you around. Where is it? That little tiny... There you go, him. This one here. So that's lifted up. I'm doing this with my left hand as well. So, slide him in. Uh, come on, there we go, he's in. And then push that into the lock position. And same with this one. Slide him up like that. I'm trying to get you a good bird's eye view of this. There we go. So slide him in as well. I don't think this machine will last much longer. <laughs> the amount of stick it gets. Okay, in, lock. And then just drop the whole thing back down again. You, you'll have to put that. Oop. Don't forget to put that piece back in underneath before you lock it all in the position and screw it in or you'll be fighting with it again. Okay, that's it. And that one. And then we'll pop it over. I pop all the screws back in. Also, a quick one. This um, it's just it's just a protector. It's not there's nothing. It's only a hinge underneath it. It slides into this first. You, you'll see it when you do it. Slides into that, and that one slides into that, and that's it. Then once it's all down, close the lid. Flip it over. Pop all the screws back in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. All the best.